Good afternoon, kindergartners and parents. Let's get ready for phonics. I'm Marcus Jackson, an ARI reading coach with the Mobile County Public School System. The sound we are working on for today is the sound, I'll say that again. The sound that we're working on for today is the sound, it is the same sound you hear in the word thumb, thumb. Kindergartners, can you show me your thumb? Great job. I see all those nice big thumbs, thumbs. I'll repeat that special sound for today. The sound that we're working on today is the sound, the same sound you hear in the word thumb. Listen to these words. Thank, as in thank you. Pathway. And math. Before we go any farther in our lesson, I want to show you something. It's a special way to make the sound. First thing you'll need, you'll need your pointer finger. Where is pointer? Where is pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Point right here. Point right here. Kindergartners, if you notice, I'm using my pointer finger to point to my mouth. Inside of my mouth, I have a tongue, and so do you. I'm going to stick my tongue out just slightly, just slightly, out of my mouth. There it is. Can I see your tongue? There you go. I see all those red tongues. Now, kindergartners, I'm going to take my pointer finger, and I'm going to use the tip of my pointer finger to touch the tip of my tongue. Do you see? Now, you touch the tip of your tongue. Yeah, that's it. I love it. I love it. This is the tip of our tongue. Now, inside of your mouth, kindergartners, you have top teeth and you also have a bottom row of teeth. You're going to take the tip of your tongue and place it in between or in the middle of your top and bottom row of teeth. Let me show you. Now you try it. <laughs> you guys are so funny. That looks so funny. All right. Now, next thing you'll do with the tip of your tongue in the middle or in between the top and bottom portion of your teeth, you're going to just simply just blow a little, bit of, a little bit of air out of your mouth over your tongue. Now, the air is already there, so you don't need to blow up anything, but just push the air out of your mouth. Watch me. Now, you try it. Let's do it again. Remember, just the tip of your tongue is in the middle or in between your top and bottom teeth. Let's do it again. There you go, guys. And just like magic, you automatically make the sound. We call that sound unvoiced or the soft sound. Let's go back to those words that I called out when we first got started. The word was thankful or thank, birthday, and path. Now listen, kindergartners, in each one of those words, you heard the sound. In the word thank, you heard the sound at the beginning of the word. We call that the initial sound because it is the first sound that we hear in the word thank. In our second word, birthday, birthday, we heard the sound in the middle of the word. We call that our medial sound. We call it our medial sound because we hear the sound in the middle of the word birthday. And in our last word, our last word was the word path. We hear the sound at the end of the word. That is called our final sound because we hear that it is the last sound we hear in the word path, path, right? We're going to play a game of thumbs up and thumbs down. I'll say that again, thumbs up and thumbs down. If you hear the sound, remember the sound is actually what we called voiceless and it is a soft sound. If you hear it in the word, in the beginning or the initial sound, medial, middle, or ending or final sound, you'll give me a thumbs up. If you don't hear the sound in the word, you're gonna give me thumbs down. I'll say that again. If you hear the sound in the word, give me thumbs up. If you don't hear the sound in the word, give me thumbs down. Are you ready? Hmm, let me try one first, okay? Let, let me model one. 
the word, let's just say that, that. Hmm. I'm going to give that a thumbs up because I hear the sound in the word that. It is actually our initial sound that we hear in that word. So are you ready? Give me your thumbs up, thumbs down. There we go. First word, thank, thank, thank. Thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> I see a lot of thumbs up. Let's see if you guys are correct. Notice, kindergartners, the word thank, the first two letters in the word thank are highlighted red to indicate, that indicates that the first sound or the initial sound you hear and the word thank is, you guys gave me a thumbs up, let's see if we're right. <laughs> and yes, you are. Give yourselves a hand. Yay, yay, bravo. All right, listen for the next word. The next word, uh-oh, I made a mistake, but that's okay, is the word cat, cat, cat. I showed you the word before I said it, but it's okay. Cat, thumbs up if you hear the th sound, thumbs down if you don't hear the th sound. In the word cat. <laughs> all right, all right, mm, let's check to see. In the word cat, this is what I hear. I hear k at. I'll say that again. This is what I hear. K at cat. You guys gave that a thumbs down. Let's see if you were correct. Yay! You should have given it a thumbs down. Kiss your brain for being so smart. You guys are just phenomenal. Your next word, let's listen, is the word pathway. And remember I said it can be a first sound initial, medial sound in the middle, or an ending or final sound. So listen again. Path way. Path way. Did you see my tongue? Path way. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, let's see what you guys did. Notice in the word pathway, your two letters in the middle, your medial letters or middle letters are highlighted red or colored red. That indicates that the sound is in the middle of the word. You guys gave that a thumbs up and you rock, you rock. Great job. This is our last word, and then we'll move on. Our last word is the word bath, bath. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'll say it again, bath, bath. Hmm, you guys are so smart, wow. I, ooh, let's, let's see. Bath, I hear at the end of the word, you guys gave me a thumbs up. You guys are on top of it. Kiss your brain again. Oh, I love you guys for being so awesome. Great job. Some of our schools may be working on the magic E. And so just for a second, I want to do a quick review of this word, bath. I'm going to write the word on the dry erase board. And this time, I'm going to put an E on the end of the word. Now, once I put an E on the end of the word, it's going to do something to that word. We know that the E at the end of the word has magic powers. Those magic powers causes the vowel to say its name. If the vowel says its name, it's a long vowel. So A is a vowel, the E is going to make the vowel say its name, and the A is going to say A. Let's blend that word. Here we go. B, A, A, V, bathe. I'll do that again. B, A, V, bathe. Because the E, the magic E, makes the A say its name. And so that word is bathe. I'll use that word in a sentence. Mr. Jackson shivered as he bathed in the cold, icy water. Okay, that's bathe. And so that was just a review for those schools that may be working on Magic E this week. And let's continue. Our next sound that we're gonna talk about is still the th sound, but it just has a different personality. This sound we call the voiced sound, okay? We still do the same thing. We use the tip of our tongue. We place it in between the bottom and top row of our teeth, like so. Uh-huh, there you go, great job. But this time, you're going to take your mouth, the wind in your mouth, and instead of just kind of pushing it out slightly, you're going to do it with a buzz. Now, you'll know if you're doing it correctly because take your two fingers, two of your fingers, and put them on your voice box. Here's your voice box right here, right here. 
that's your voice box. Now once you touch that, something should happen. Your voice um, box should vibrate. You should feel it moving. So let me, show you, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here are my two fingers. I'm going to put my tongue in the tip of my mouth and I'm going to buzz. Did y'all feel that? You try it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Notice the buzzing sound that you heard with the sound. We call that voiced TH sound or the hard TH sound. Great job. You hear that sound in words such as that, this, and mother. Notice kindergartners, in the middle of the word mother, my letters are highlighted red to indicate that you can also hear that sound as a medial sound in the word mother, mother. Notice you feel your, vo feel your voice box, mother. Great job, great job. We call that TH with an attitude. Kindergartners, we're gonna do a little bit of writing, okay? We talked about it and you gave me your listening ears, now give me your eyes, are you ready? Look at this, kindergartners. We have the letters T, and I'm gonna make them big so you can see them, and H, okay? I don't really like that H, so I'm gonna erase it, make it a little bit neater and better. There you go. T and H are both consonant letters. They're both consonants. T says, t, or it makes the t sound, as in turtle. H says, h, as in hand. It makes the h sound. When we put these two letters together, T and H, this is what we hear. We can also hear, mm, it just depends upon the word. Okay, I'll say that again. T and H are what we call consonant letters. And when we put those letters together or we combine them, we have a single sound. That single sound is or mm, it just depends upon the word. We call this a consonant digraph. We call it a consonant digraph because it makes a single sound or one sound, okay? That was just food for thought. Next, guys, we're going to blend some words. Let's do a little bit of blending, are you ready? Put your thinking caps on, put your thinking caps on. Shh, put your thinking caps on, shh, put your thinking caps on. Shh, put your thinking caps on, shh, put your thinking caps on. Last time, put your thinking caps on, shh, 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 and we are ready to rock. I have the word that, that. I'm gonna separate my letters just a little bit so that we can blend them a little bit better, okay? First, kindergartners, from what we talked about earlier, this is going to be th that. We're gonna make this a voice sound, okay? So we hear it. Th at. Did you see what I just did? Th at. Okay, let's do it again. Th at. Let's blend that word. Th at that. Let's try it again. Th at that. This is the word that, that. Let's try another word. This word is the word this. And kindergartners, if you notice, my vowels are in red and these are short vowels. Th, th, that's our voice sound. I says is, short I, as an in insect or itch, and S says S as in soap or sun. Now let's see if we can put it together. Th, is, let's do it again. Th, is, this, this. <laughs> Y'all sound like robots, but it sounds good. Th, is, this, great job, great job. Let's move on a little bit further, kindergartners. Let's try one more. Once again, I'm gonna put my letters, my sound, special sound, in black, my vowel in red, and my ending sound in black. And let's blend, kindergartners. Are you ready? Let you guys do this one on your own. That's soft. 
great job. Let me do it to make sure that we're accurate. Thud, 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 thud. Great job, you guys rock. Give yourselves a rock and roll sign for that. Great job. Now we're going to write some words. We're gonna write some words. I will say the word, you'll repeat it after me, then we're gonna touch spell it and write it. Okay, are you ready? Here's the first word that we're going to do. This word is unvoiced. So here we go. We have the word thad, thad. You say it, thad, thad, thad. Now let's touch spell it. Are you ready? Give your fingers together. That first sound, only, we only need one finger to touch. That first sound, here we go. Add. Let's do it again. Add, thad. We have our bird speak. There we go. Add, thad. And there's our word. Add, thad. You will do this one on your own. Are you ready? Let's try this one. And I forgot to put my vowels in red. Let's try this one. You ready, kindergartners? Now that's voice, so I should hear that th sound as you say this word. Are you ready? Let's begin. <laughs> Great job, let's try it together. Are you ready? Th is this, this. Let's try it again. Th is this. Great job, great job. Now let's read the words that we wrote. We wrote the word thad and the word this. You read it on your own this time. Are you ready? Let's begin. And one more time. And great job, great job. Now let's write a sentence, guys. Here's my sentence, here's my sentence. The bath is hot. The bath is hot. You say it. Say it again. Great job, the bath is hot. Now I want you to take your fist, make a fist, because we're gonna pound the words we hear in the sentence, the bath is hot. Let me show you. The bath is hot. I'll do it again. The bath is hot. You make your fist and you pound the words that you hear in the bath is hot. Are you ready, kindergartners? Let us begin. One more time. Now, I don't know about you, but when I pound it, I pound four times. My fist hit the table four times. The bath is hot. And the reason why we do that, kindergartners, is so that we'll know how many words we need to write in our sentence. So my sentence and your sentence should have four words. And I'm gonna put four lines on my paper to indicate that I need to have, or I should have four words on my paper. Are you ready? The, the bath is hot. Write it. And when you're done, show me your paper so I'll know how well you're doing. Don't forget, guys, that the beginning of every sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. And in this case, our sentence should end with a period. You guys are done already? Are you, oh my goodness, you guys look great, great job. Hmm, are y'all ready for me to write the sentence to see if you're correct? All right, I'm ready to write it. Here it goes. The, and I hope y'all can see this, bath is hot. And I put my period. Notice I started my sentence with the capital letter and I ended with the punctuation mark. The bath is hot. And I'm so glad that you guys, I saw as you held your boards up, that you didn't put an E on the end of the word bath. I know we talked about that, but you heard what I said. You heard the sound, bath, bath. Not bathe, but bath. The bath is hot. Give yourselves two thumbs up for doing such a great job. Kudos to you guys. All right. We have saved the best for last. We're going to practice what we've learned with a story today. So I'm gonna read your story. Oh, the things you can think, and then we'll be finished. By Dr. Seuss, one of my favorites. You can think up some birds, that's what you can do. 
You can think about yellow or think about blue. You can think about red, you can think about pink, you can think of a horse, oh, the thinks you can think. And listen to all those words that we hear in the word or in our story. Oh, the things you can think up if only you try. If you try, you can think up a guff going by. And I would love to know what a guff is. And you don't have to stop. You can think about slop. Slop, slop, beautiful slop, beautiful slop with a cherry on top. You can think about gloves. You can think about snubs. You can think a long time about snubs and their gloves. You can think about Kitty O'Sullivan Cross and her big balloon swimming pool over her house. I would love to see a swimming pool over someone's house. Think of black water, think up a white sky, think up a boat, think of logs blowing by. You can think about night, a night in the noop. The birds are asleep and the three moons are up. There's another word, three. You can think about day, a day in the date. The water is blue and the birds are awake. Think and think and wonder, wonder and think how much water can 55 elephants drink. You can wonder how long is the tail of a zong. What is a zong? There are so many things that a thinker can think. Would you dare yank a tooth? There it is again at the end of tooth. Of the rink -a rink fink. And what would you do if you met a jibu? What is a jibu? Think. You can think anything that you wish. Think a race on a horse or a ball with a fish. Think of light. Think of bright. Think of stairs in the night. Think. Think a ship. Think up a long trip. Go visit the viper, the viper of Vip. And left, think of left. This is a left of me, kindergartners. And think about Beth. Why is that Beth always go to the left? And why is it that so many things go to the right? This is the right of me. You can think about that until Saturday night. Think left, think right. There's those T words, sound. And think low and think high. Oh, the things you can think up if only you try. And don't forget, guys, our special sound for today was the sound and th. I've enjoyed being with you guys. Until next week, have a great day. Bye-bye.